From the Swedish Genealogy Guide, I'm Jeff Morris. And in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to read a Swedish birth and christening entry from 1717. This entire example was written in the Gothic style of cursive handwriting and comes from the parish of Katarina in Stockholm City. I'm going to introduce you to a couple tools, one to help you decipher the handwriting better and then the other to get the correct meaning. Let's get started. The first thing you want to do is get used to how the record is organized. In this case, the record keeper is just keeping track of each christening down the left side of the page and then he continues down the right side of the page in a chronological order. He created these columns to show the dates of where each entry begins. And so let's look at one of these entries closer. The first word that you see is the word ekta across the top, and that means marriage. And then the next word is barn, which means children. So these are the children who are born within marriage. The next word that we see is November. And then the word after that is monad, which means month. The abbreviation here to the side is a D, and it stands for the word den, which means on. And then we have the fourth. The next word is duptus, which means was christened or baptized. And then the next word we have is the father's occupation. Now, I know from experience that this letter, or I'm sorry, that this word begins with a capital letter S. And that's followed by an I, O, with the two dots. So it's the letter U, and then M, A, N. And if you were having a hard time um, reading what that word is, I would suggest that you go to the Swedish Genealogy Guide page and you click on links and then you scroll down to handwriting and click on the Gothic handwriting tool. I'm just going to move this over so we can see these side by side. So, uh, this is a really cool tool because you can just type in the letters and then it will create what those letters are in the Gothic style of handwriting. So here we have capital letter S and then it's I U M A N. When you see these words side by side, you can see that it's actually a really close match. To look up the meaning of this word, I'm just going to go back to the Swedish genealogy guide page. I come up and click on the link dictionaries. And then I click on the Swedish historical dictionary database, SHDD. And I scroll down and I just type in S J and then I can just click on the button for the U uh, M. And I'm just putting in the root of the word um, because this is based off a dictionary. So you'll be more successful if you're just putting in the root. And we'll come down and look for an occupation. And here we have Shoman, which is a seaman or mariner. Then we have the father's name, which is Hindrik. H-I-N-D-R-I-C-H. And his last name is Lund, L-U-N-D. And there's a mark over the U to help distinguish that from the N. So we have the Schumann, Hendrik Lunds. And then he continues, Och, O-C-H, which means and. And then we have this abbreviation that starts with the letter H, which is standing for the word Hustru which means wife. And her name is Elisabeth. E-L-I-S-A-B-E-T. And then her last name is Olof's daughter. And in this case, he put 
Olof, O-L-O-F-S. And then he uh, wrote DRS for the abbreviation for daughter. So we have Hendrik Lund's and Elizabeth Olof's daughters. And the next word is son. And the name given to the child was Johan. The next word is Fadrana, which means godparents. F-A-D-D-R-A-R-N-A. And the first godparent is Jacob, J-A-C-O-B, Ekstrom, E-K-S-T-R-U-M. The next godparent is Johan, and his last name is Stahl, S-T-A-H-L. And this combination of an S-T is very common with this style of cursive handwriting. And the next godparent is Jonas Wallström. The next godparent is begins with the uh, abbreviation again for Hustru. It was the H abbreviation. And in this context, it could also just mean Mrs., that this woman is married and uh, is not referring to the previous godparent as being her husband in this case. So, and her name is Karen, K-A-R-I-N, and then it is Vilman, W-I-L-L, M A N. And the la- last godparent is um, also begins with an abbreviation. It's a J. And in this case, it's standing for the word Jungfru, uh, which is maiden. And uh, her name is Anna, A N N A. And then it's Eric's daughter, E R I C H. S, that squiggle mark down below is referring to the S. And then he just did a DR for Dotter. With that, we are done. I hope this uh, lesson has helped you in reading the Gothic handwriting better. If you appreciate this content, please give it a like or share it through one of the social media channels. Thank you.